Hi, Greg here from the Caddis Fly Shop, Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Uh, I've been traveling for the last month and a half or so. Uh, I've been fishing a lot of lakes, uh, both throughout Oregon uh, and California. I've been tying a lot of different prominent and midge patterns. Easy stuff to tie, guys, but so effective. Uh, so join me. I'm going to be tying some broke back midges, um, copper tigers, you name it. All great flies for the beginning fly uh, tire, but also extremely effective flies uh, both on lakes and also in telewaters. Um, follow along. Have a great time. All right, guys, this is the broke back midge. What this is is two zebra midges, okay? This is a Daiichi 1120 size 14, but you could tie these as small as 16s, 18s if you really want to. And the back is just a sacrificial hook. I'm using a size 16 dry fly hook. I found these dry fly hooks that are just junk. Years ago for two bucks, they break. Perfect for this type of stuff. The front hook is an 1120, size 14. I'm using a 332nd silver bead. This right here is the zebra midge broke back zebra midge. I'm gonna tie this broke back uh, copper tiger. The only difference, copper bead, copper wire, all right? So it's two stages to this fly. Essentially, you gotta tie two flies. The back one, and we're gonna connect that with some mono to the front fly, okay? So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie that back fly, and like I said, I'm using a size 16 dry fly hook here. I bought these years ago. These are junk. As you can see, they're, they break. Just pure junk. I found them for two bucks uh, out there in uh, Beavers, sporting goods of all places. Okay, this is going to be a black fly. Essentially, we're tying two uh, tiger midges. The f one in the back, no bead. All I'm going to do is lay down, foundation of thread about to the hook point. Stop right there, cut off my tag. <clears throat> Back to the front. <sighs> Tie that wire in. Keep it on the top. I like my wire for my midges on top. Bring this back. I'm only going to the hook point guys right there because I'm going to actually end up cutting this. And then I'm going to just do touching wraps all the way forward to the hook eye. the hook eye stop and we're just gonna go ahead probably get about four wraps there's one two three four and out on five it'll be perfect right there two wraps cut it in front a couple times right over it again get a nice and really good secure wraps there okay go ahead break that wire off I'm gonna go ahead and do a four to five turn with finish. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Now I'm not taking this fly off the vise yet. I am going to keep uh, the hook on there for now. What I have is some 6X. Okay, I just found some old crap that I had laying around. It's fine. Don't short yourself on this. What I'm gonna do, just to start off, I'm just gonna thread this right now, just like I was fishing. I'm gonna thread that, and just hold on to that like that. Now you could break your, these are so cheap I could break it in my vise. I choose not to, because I don't wanna mess up my vise. And I don't wanna break the hook, so I have some huge pliers that I use. And I just come up, right behind my fly, as you can see, cut, that's it. It's a little sharp there, it's okay. Don't worry about that, set that aside. Okay, now's the main body of the fly. This is a Daiichi 1120, size 14. 330 seconds copper bead. I'm using just six aught black. You can use any thread that you wish. Just like all my other videos with midges, take this deck to the hook point, come back up. Snip off my tag. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that original fly and I already put that mono in there. Okay, I'm just using 6x. You can use whatever you want. You know, this really isn't going to break. And what we want is I like 
the hook guy to be bending up like that. Um, it gives a little bit more articulated action in the back here. You can do it down too. I've done it both ways. It doesn't seem to foul. Now keep in mind, I'm, I'm fishing this underneath an indicator. I'm rarely casting more than 20 feet. Okay, I'm almost letting the wind just take it. But anyways, I'm gonna orient this how I want it. Let me give myself some slack. But I'm just gonna do two loose wraps over the bono. Kind of just orient it, make sure it looks good, but I'm gonna pull it in then to where I want it. And I like a little bit of space here, about the width of a bead. That's what I like in the back here, okay? And I'm gonna come down a little bit more down the hook shank. So I'm pulling it out, keeping that distance of about the bead. There we go, right about there. And I'm gonna stop right about there, okay? Maybe a little bit further. This is so, ever so much. There we go. Then I'm going to bring this all the way back up. I'm really locking all this in. And here we can just do open wraps all the way up. And what I like to do, because I see the great tires do this, and when I say great tires, not only great flies, but durable flies. Guys like Sands, Jay Nichols. Um, I come back over itself like this, and I come back right to the hook point. I cut that mono out of there. Now all I'm doing is just finishing up a tiger midge, or the type of copper tiger. It's just a zebra midge, guys. That's all it is. Come up to the front, trap that on top. This is just a small copper wire. This is actually copper brown. I like the copper brown better than copper. Copper, copper brown, nice little contrast. It's awesome. Sometimes just that little contrast of color is all it takes. We're putting this back right to that, right to where that area is hanging out. Then touching wraps all the way back forward. Just take your time. These are very effective flies underneath an indicator in the lakes. Um, great fly. We can use as a dropper. On many of these tailwaters in Oregon. Two, three. Four and five, we're gonna be out on six. Right there, boom. She wraps over that. She wraps in front. She wraps behind once again. And I get that out of there. And there you go, your fly is done. All I'm gonna do now is just build up a little ramp here, secure that uh, that bead, and then I'm gonna do a three to four whip finish. A little bit of zap a gap, and uh go fish this. I used to glue these entire bodies. I honestly have not seen any difference glued or unglued. The fish still kill this thing. And there you go. That's a broke back uh, copper tiger guys. Uh, if I use silver bead, silver wire, it would just be a broke back um, zebra midge. Uh, just like, let me show you here. Just like this guy here. And um, Super effective fly. These are size 14s. I think I could get away with these. I'm going to Crowley Lake this week. Um, go visit some friends. Definitely in the Cascade Lakes, size 14. But size 16s and 18s uh, on the Eastern Sierra, absolutely. I've used those. And um, I was out there last week. And the fish just annihilated those uh, to the point they broke off. Anyways, give these a shot. Uh, pinch those barbs. And... Um, yeah, enjoy life, guys. Thanks for watching.